So you want to put your own signature in your videos. There's a way to do that. First thing you need is a piece of paper and a sharpie. Write your signature. After you have wrote one's signature on one's piece of paper, you are going to scan this to yourself. Now, if you don't have a printer to scan it to yourself, then you could probably take a photo of it. Now, I haven't done this, but you could probably take a photo of this signature and send it to yourself on the computer. So that's how we transfer this piece of paper onto the computer. Take the image off of this piece of paper because right now in the computer it's in this piece of paper and when you upload it to your video it's going to show up like this instead of like you want it to just with your signature and not the piece of paper. So now we got to separate the signature from the piece of paper and put it on a transparent background and that's what we do inside of Photoshop. Now that you're in Photoshop, your signature is there. You want to double click on that layer that your signature is on. Then you want to go to the blend if gray option and you want to slide that slider back in. So now we're going to make a new layer, bring it down to the bottom. Then we're going to select both layers and right click and select merge layer. Now we're going to make our signature white by going up top to the word image, adjustments, and then invert. You may want to fill in your signature here. You can hold control and select the layer down there and you can fill in your signature to make it look a little bit better. But I like the blotchy look because when I normally write with pen, it gives it that little bit of a blotchiness look to it sometimes. I think it just looks different and cool and I'm gonna stick with that right there. All you gotta do is go up to File, Export as a PNG. Put it on your desktop and then we're gonna load up After Effects. Once we get into After Effects, we're going to make a 1080 timeline. And all we're doing is we're gonna take our PNG file and put it into After Effects. So scale it properly. Yours may be really big, it may be really small. Scale it properly to where it fits the screen. So now we're gonna animate the signature. In order to do this correctly, we're gonna hit go up here and select the pen tool. Basically what we're doing is we're going to trace the signature as if we are writing it. And the reason why we do that, this is what is going to allow the program to give us that handwritten look that you're trying to accomplish, like you're signing your own video. And that is part of the, the gig here. You don't want it just to appear, right? You want it to be a, a signature, your signature. So basically what you do is you take the pen tool and you go through and create and, and draw lines through the signature as if you were writing it like this. So make sure you zoom in because you need to zoom in and be able to get this little pen tool in the middle of your signature as best you can because this is what's gonna write your signature for you. All right, so we finished the big L or your first big letter or however you write your signature. Now we need to go to the next little squiggly line or however you wrote it, your next letter. Just don't cross over anywhere in the white where you have not drawn yet. That's the key here because if you do, then your signature will show up in that little speck that you crossed over because that's what After Effects is doing. It's saying, hey, I'm following your lines. This is your handwriting. Boom, all right, sweet. We're, uh, we're there, we got the first part done. Now we just need to do the same thing for the last part here. And after that, I'll show you what to do. Okay, we just click off and that's gonna save the path for our signature. Now we're gonna click back on the path. We're gonna go up to Effect, Generate, and then scroll down to stroke. So the first thing we need to do is reveal the original image that is underneath the paint style box. And then after that, basically in here is where you are going to adjust the settings for your signature to be displayed how you want it to be displayed. So you can bring your brush size way up if you want to, but I find that it doesn't help me because I have a lot of crosses with the L in particular on my name. I cross it twice, so when I bring it up, it makes it look kind of funky and weird, and that's not the look we're going for. So I leave mine small, and the reason is, is because you don't notice that it when it crosses over another letter like it does for my L. So if you don't have anything that crosses like a C or you know any letter that doesn't cross over within itself, you can probably bring your brush way up. So just a heads up on that. So I'm gonna leave this at like four or five. 
Okay, so now we're going to start the animation. So I'm going to scroll over to about three to four seconds. Everybody's signature is different. Names are longer, names are shorter. Everybody writes their signature, so just kind of write it out and look how you write it. And then you're just going to want to manipulate that into the timing as far as your time code goes. So all we're going to actually use for this is the end positioning. So I'm just going to scroll over to about three or four seconds, four seconds. And I'm going to start my end, my end keyframe right here at 100%. And then I'm going to go back to the beginning of the playhood, playhead and put it at 0%. So now our signature is already animating, but like I said, we wanted to have it the handwritten look and it doesn't really have that right now. It just has this look of writing it normal, but sometimes your L or your P for me takes longer than it takes me to write the scribbly line. So I wanted to make it look like I'm actually writing that. And that's when we mess with the keyframes adjusting that endpoint to where we slide those keyframes to where it fits where we want it at and just play with the keyframes and that's going to be your best bet as far as figuring out what works for you so we're just going to throw some examples here now i'm going to find where my l ends i'm going to set a keyframe there and basically i'm going to separate me writing my l to my squiggly lines because there is a pause in there, it's not just continuous motion. So then once I set the keyframe, I slide my other keyframe over, and now I have this pause in between my L and my squiggly line, and then I can speed up the signature itself through After Effects. And all we're doing is manipulating how we're writing it in virtually. So now we're ready to export this thing and put it into use, right? So now we're going to go to composition and then add to render queue. So one thing, the most important thing that you want to do here is click on where it says lossless and change it from RGB to RGB plus alpha. And basically that's going to give you a transparent background for your signature. So now that you have this done and it's complete, you can export this in several different ways and it will be on a transparent background so you can throw it on any video you would like. You can throw it on black screens, you can throw it over any video clips, pictures, anything like that. And it's gonna have that animation that you save to it. All right, render it out, put it on your desktop and that is it. You have your own signature as you see mine writing on the screen right here. Thank you for watching. It's not that bad. It doesn't take that long. After you do it once, you'll do it again and then you'll do it over and over again. And that's pretty much how I was. I've been trying to do this for years, by the way. So this was an awesome moment for me. I get to sign all my own work. I love it. I think it's a unique way. It's a different way. You don't see a lot of signatures in videos. So when you have that on your YouTube videos, it just right there. You know what I mean? So. All right, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you're new. I appreciate you guys. And we'll see you on the next video. I have no idea what we'll be doing, but we'll, we'll, we'll be doing something. So, all right, later. Wow, <sighs> oh, I need to shave, man. Look how rough I look, and I'm going on camera. Oh, well.